Misfits, a YouTube group that consisted of Fitz, Swagger Souls, Toby on the Tele, I Notorious, and Zuckles that was formed in 2016. Their group was created later than OGs like the Sidemen, but earlier than the new big groups like the Beta Squad and just a year before Lunch Club, a group that also fell apart. The Misfits were all CSGO players Green, Green, what, what's your problem, Green? Or rather, that's what they were mostly known for before starting the channel. Their chemistry in the game captivated their fans. They were enjoying the game while not taking it very seriously, making jokes and fun of each other. Smitty! Smitty! What? Come! <laughs> Why are you so Come! loud? Come! Why are you so loud? Stop! Come! Come! Stop! Stop! Epic! Be epic! Epic! So epic! It was honestly peak five-man CSGO party. However, surprisingly, on the channel they would upload a wide range of content mostly focused on in real life stuff. So why and how did they fail their audience? In this video, I'll answer those questions and give my opinion on the matter. But before that, it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. It helps the channel out a lot and it would mean the world to me. Thank you. Back to the video. I always like to start at the beginning, to see how the channel changed throughout the years and the content that was being uploaded from day one. It can give us good insight on when and how things might have gone awry. Their first public video on their channel is called Misfits House Reveal and it has been uploaded five years ago. To sum up the video, it's just them giving a house tour in the most Misfits way possible with bunch of jokes and chaos throughout the video. What the fuck is that? Oh my god! What the fuck is that? <laughs> the video shows the group's dynamic IRL and gives that feeling of five friends just hanging out. The two videos after that one would also be focused on the group's house dynamic and them just hanging out. But things would change after Mr. Beast's Battle Royale event that Misfits were in. They started filming outside the house a lot more and their video became more chaotic, like starting a riot or our most illegal video yet, robbing the click house, etc. As you can tell by the thumbnails, Zuckles was the main focus in these videos. I don't mean it in a way like the video was revolved around him alone, but he was definitely the one who would say yes to a crazy suggestion. This is something that is important to keep in mind for future references. The next couple of years the channel would upload less and less videos, from 7-ish videos a year to only 3 or 4 and now 0. A lot can be attributed to that and is the reason why Misfits actually fell apart. Unlike most YouTuber groups, they didn't fell apart because of some inside drama or creative drift in the group. It was actually because of their manager, Ryan P, that we will talk more about in a second. Despite them not uploading on Misfits again, the group members are still good friends. Swagger Souls, Fitz, Toby on the Tele and I Notorious kept uploading Counter Strike based content with a mix of other games, while McCreamy focused more on Fortnite. Now, you may be wondering what direction did the last Misfits member channel go to? Zuckles is an interesting case. His wild, I don't care about consequences behavior is what stands out. But by taking a deeper look into his character, we can see that all is not that well on the surface. He suffered from schizophrenia his whole life, and if that alone wasn't causing him enough trouble, he fell into substance abuse whilst living in LA. As you may know, LA is known for its substance abusing culture that so many people fall into. His heavy nicotine addiction also prevented him from playing Rust and other games that made him famous as he didn't have a long enough attention span to sit it through. So what, you don't like playing Rust anymore or what? I, I just don't have the attention span ever since I got a nicotine addiction. I still don't think I'm gonna last longer than three years even on this. What do you mean, last longer than three years? Get lung cancer or some shit. Nah, no, you're, you're chilling. Yeah, dude. you're chilling But easily. just don't fucking smoke ciggies. Yeah. yeah. This all accumulated into him not knowing what direction to take his channel in. 
He did IRL streams with Ice Poseidon, boxing, and many other things, but most of these would not last. His schizophrenia prevented him from doing the challenge with Ice Poseidon, and he even ended up being arrested. Apart from Zuckles, other Misfits members were also busy with their own channels, personal stuff, and etc making it harder to find time to record together. So now we know that Misfits are busy with their own channels, personal projects and life, but why would they stop uploading on the channel apart from that? Well, that brings us to the Ryan Piacente situation. Coffeezilla already made an in-depth video about him that I highly recommend you watch if you want to know more, but to cut it short, Here's what he did. Ryan P was a manager for Misfits and also did merch for a lot of YouTubers with his company named Revolt. He was an individual that spent more money than he could afford and ended up not being able to pay back the cut for creators merch. Basically, he would take the money YouTuber A made, spend it and use YouTubers B money to pay back YouTuber A. Imagine like what banks do but done by a single person. The problem with this is that he would bet on merch being successful and selling well. As soon as that wasn't the case, he would be unable to pay them their cut. Right, so that's pretty bad, scamming creators from their own money, but it doesn't end there sadly. The worst is yet to come. The thing that made him disappear from the public eye and the worst thing he has done would have to be the SA allegations that were brought up against him. Apparently, he would prey on intoxicated people to sexually exploit them, sometimes even forcing them to get intoxicated. It should come as no surprise that once these allegations were made public, he would disappear, with misfits not wanting to associate with him. So now that you know the complete story, here's what I think. Personally, I don't think misfits would ever upload on their channel again, as they said so themselves, but that does not mean they won't do things as a group. There is a possibility that they start a new group with some of the old group members plus some new ones. I hope something like that happens as I liked watching them all create content under one channel, but I would also understand if they choose not to due to previous channel scandals. Either way, they all still have their personal channels that they regularly upload to. So there's plenty of content to consume. Swagger Souls recently joined the JSTRATS SMP along with other content creators, so if you're a fan of Minecraft, that might be worth checking out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!